when I go to conferences, I love to absorb the information that the speakers share while they're on stage. When I'm not on stage, I'm taking great notes, pictures, sharing everything on Twitter, and at times I'm creating videos. What I'd like to share with you today is one of my first snackable moments from the Internet Summit in Raleigh from 2018, which was a few months ago. But what Quinn Tempest says here about Instagram is very intriguing. She talks about not using generic hashtags when you're posting, but what you could do is use other types of hashtags. So listen to the video, and hopefully you'll get something from it. Use on my own hashtags for this post is hashtag entrepreneur. Last time I looked, there were something like 50 million posts in entrepreneur hashtag, and it was updated multiple times a second. Do you think I'm going to be seen on that hashtag? No. Do you think my target audience is hanging out on that hashtag? No. So instead, I want you to think about three different types of hashtags when you're researching. Womanpreneur, this is a niche hashtag. This is much more in line with my target audience of women on Instagram who are entrepreneurs. Another one is a community hashtag. This is created by a women's entrepreneur organization called We Are The Creative Economy. And these are very active hashtags, but they're not overly saturated. So they might have 200,000 posts, they might be updated maybe two or three times an hour, and my target audience is actually hanging out there. So niche hashtags, community hashtags, and the last one are branded hashtags. So if you're familiar with the women entrepreneur space, Marie Forleo is a big name in the, in the industry, and she has a program called B-School. So this is a way to start thinking less broad about your hashtags, more specific, and more targeted to who you want to reach on this platform.